most beautiful things humans ever created was the Concorde and there's no doubt about it, this plane is absolutely beautiful. It was the first supersonic airliner, well, second, the TU-144 made it to the air first, but this was the first proper one, as the TU-144 wasn't really that good and didn't really serve for that long in the skies before it had to be retired just one year later. So the Concorde is the true supersonic airliner and there were no others as good as Concorde. There was only one other, that was the 144 and that plane wasn't that good at all. But one of these Concords, un unfortunately it caught fire and it crashed. What could cause something like this to happen? What could have caused such a perfect airliner with a perfect reputation to suddenly go down in flames like this? What on earth could have caused such a horrible tragedy? Now I will take a deeper look at the, the events that led up to the crash. So, I'm also going to provide an animation about the crash, just to help you, like, know what was going on and um, basically show you how it happened and um, give you a better idea of what could have happened on this terrible tragedy. I also want to mention the fact that there's a Concord takeoff scene in my film that I'm making and uh, I'm going to show you that clip. Our story starts when an Air France Concorde arrives at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, France. 109 people get on board. The passengers are going on an exciting, exclusive holiday, starting with a supersonic flight on a Concorde, then a cruise in the Caribbean. Five minutes before the Concorde took off, a DC-10 dropped this piece of its engine onto the runway. Concorde failed to gain altitude. The plane pushed its engines to try and land at the nearest airport. The airport was only three miles away, but the engines couldn't push any further. The pilot fought with the plane to try and regain altitude, but it was a lost cause. At this point in the flight, the Concorde should have been going supersonic, but this one was going really, really slow. It could barely keep itself in the air. And to make it even worse, the control surfaces on the wing had been melted off, meaning it was very, very hard to try and control this Concorde. It was almost impossible, so it would have taken a real, real genius pilot to control it. Captain Marty knew that there was no way that the plane would be able to land, so he steered the plane towards an area where there would be less ground casualties if the plane crashed. It was at that moment that the plane stalled and then went crashing right into the water. All 109 people on board the plane died and a further four people in the hotel died as well. The hotel itself was razed to the ground by Concorde. The victims of the crash had to be identified with their dental records because they were just unrecognisable in the wreckage of the Concorde. The Concorde crash happened because a piece of metal from the engine of this Continental Airlines DC-10, a plane so deadly you don't even have to be on it for it to kill you. I've seen it in the comments in a lot of videos about DC-10 crashes and Concorde crashes as the DC-10 itself had a terrible reputation as it had really bad problems with its cargo doors which caused it to explode and um, rip itself to pieces in mid-air. Um, the DC-10 itself is probably one of the dodgiest aircraft ever built but um, it ended Concorde. Concorde was a great aircraft, brilliant and uh, the DC-10 helped ruin it because the in fact, the DC-10 um, is probably the worst aircraft ever built, but that stopped flying in 2017. Concords were grounded following the crash until they were allowed to fly again in 2001, but the tourism crash after 9-11 made it that there would be very low passenger numbers throughout the rest of 2001, 
2002 and 2003. In 2003, in October, the Concorde made its last ever flight when it landed in New York City. The plane was then shipped back to the United Kingdom where it was kept in a museum. Rest in peace to everyone aboard Air France 4590 and all the people in the hotel that were killed. This tragedy just shows how bad things can be if you don't properly repair your plane. And then, finally, years and years after the Concorde crash, the DC-10 finally started being removed from service and, it, and by 2017 no more DC-10s were still operating and there's barely any MD-11s still operating as well. Thanks for watching, um, I'll see you in the next video, stay safe and also I hope you're not about to go on a plane after watching this. I mean, you shouldn't watch it if you're about to go on a plane, but, um, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Um, and I might actually talk about why the Russian Concords, the TU-144, was such a bad aircraft, even though it looks beautiful. And this little clip here is just a tiny little sneak peek into my film. So I hope you're excited for seeing that film coming out soon. Um, I'm putting a lot of work into it, but it's not the best animation.